Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Greetings to you on this cool fall day of Thursday. Oh, I, I tell you, I just looked at my thermometer and it said it was a nice cool 54 degrees at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Man, I tell you, it feels like fall. I do believe fall has, has come and we, we're, we're looking for some better weather and everything and good cool weather. It puts a spring in your step. Makes you excited at times. Makes you glad to be alive. It is so good to be coming to you live today. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever stopped to think about the fact that you and I are representatives? Have you ever stopped to think about you and I are ambassadors for a king, for a kingdom? For, uh, in Second Corinthians 5.20, we read, Now, then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did the, for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. We are to be an example of who Christ is, of a kingdom. An ambassador is one is an official representative for another kingdom or country. Now, you know, we, we hear uh, of these ambassadors that go to other countries, the United States sends, or that they send over here, and I am sure that our government, when they send ambassadors, they want someone that's going to represent them in a positive light. I'm sure that if an, amb if an ambassador began to do something that would embarrass our country, or if another country's uh, ambassador was to do something that would embarrass their country, they would quickly call them back. Even so, you and I are called to be ambassadors for Jesus Christ. We are ambassadors for the greatest kingdom there is. For the king, we are ambassadors for the king of kings and the lord of lords. Our mission is to go out and tell others about Jesus. You say, wait a minute preacher, wait a minute now, I'm not called to preach. Or I'm not called to teach. It's not just about preaching or teaching. But it's about living a life that represents the kingdom that we're called to be a part of. We are to live a life of, of holiness before others that will cause others to begin to get a hunger for God. But what are we representing him for? Why are we called ambassadors? Because we are to call and pray for people and to beseech people to be reconciled to God. You see, man fell into sin, and because of sin it has separated man from God. Yours and I, my little mission, is to call people back to God. To be reconciled is to change, let's change, let's coins for others of equivalent value, to reconcile those who are at variance, to return to favor with to be reconciled to one, to make one into favor. We are to encourage others to return to favor with God. Because of sin, man has fell out of favor with God. Because of sin, man deserves judgment, deserves death. But God loved man so much that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to this world to die on an old rugged tree that you and I might be reconciled to God. And because of that ministry, because of that mission, we are to be ambassadors for Christ, teaching others, praying that others would come to Christ, praying that others would be reconciled to God. Oh, we spend so much time talking about everything bad that's going on, but we need to begin to realize and understand we've got to reach the world for Christ. Years ago, when I was growing up, we 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 used to have CA. I don't, you know, I, they don't have it anymore. I think it's more or less 
youth groups and stuff now, but they used to have CAs. And at the end of the CA period, it, we would always stand and we would sing, don't worry, I'm not going to try to sing. I'm just going to read it. But we would, the words, but we would sing, we are Christ's ambassadors. And our colors we must unfold. We must wear a spotless robe, clean and righteous before the world. We must know we're free from sin, and that Jesus dwells within, proving duly that we're truly Christ ambassadors. You and I should be living in such a manner that will cause others to come to Christ, that will cause others to want to come to Him. Jesus said several times, he just found in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 and several other places, He said that we were the salt of the world. And one of the things that salt does is it makes, you, it makes a person thirsty. Friends, are you and I living in such a manner that we're making people People thirsty for Christ? Are we making people want to know more about God? Are we by our very life and the way we act and behave making people want to grow closer to God and learn more about Him? I pray that, and pray that you would take these words to heart and that you will begin to live your life knowing that we represent the greatest King of all, the greatest kingdom of all. We are representatives of the Lord Jesus Christ and we ought to live our life in such a manner that we'll draw men and women to Jesus. Friend, I encourage you and if you're listening to this and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, friend, I encourage you to do so today. I encourage you to draw near to Him. Him. You say, preacher, I don't know what to say, how to even begin. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior to say, I want you to repeat a prayer after me. But this prayer does not but understand something. It's not just praying this prayer that makes you save. You've got to make that decision and walk by it. If you would like to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for the greatest gift you've ever seen, the gift of your Son, to take my place on the cross. Jesus, I thank you for laying your life down for me, that I may be reconciled to God. I surrender my life to you. I surrender every part of my being to you today. I ask you, O oh Father, to fill me with your Holy Spirit, that I may be the person you want me to be, that I may walk according to your commandments. Father, you said in your word that if we would believe in our hearts that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and would make that confession with our lips, then that we would be saved. For you said that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I make that confession. I believe it. And my belief is then to act in action and acting in accordance to your word. I thank you. By faith, I thank you today that I am set free from my sins and I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, if you pray that prayer, and you really meant it in your heart, and congratulations. You've made the greatest decision of your life. Yet one that you will never regret. I would love to pray with you. I would love to talk with you. If you need any help at any time, please send me a message. But friend, I want you to know that God loves you. And that you, that you are greatly loved of Him. And that He will help you in every step of the way. I thank you for listening to this message. And it is my prayer that God will richly bless you, that he will richly help you. 
feel free to send us a message if we can pray with you and speak with you concerning anything. Now I'm going to pray another prayer for you. I know that there is a lot of sickness going on around our land today. There's a lot of people that are hurting today. And I want to come to you right now and I want to agree with you in prayer that God will reach down and touch and minister to you in a special way. Father, I thank you for your word. Father, I thank you that God, your word is still true, that your promises are still yay and amen. God, that there is nothing in possible for you. Father, I bring my friends to you now in the name of Jesus. Father, if there's been any tonight that they who have received you as their Lord and Savior, Father, I pray that you would make yourself real to them even now. Father, that God, you would surround them with your love, surround them with your protection, drive back the survival for thy name's sake. Father, if there be any that are in the sound of my voice that are sick in body, Father, I pray that you would send forth your word and you would heal and deliver. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to cancer to be gone. In the name of Jesus, I speak to diabetes to be gone. In the name of Jesus, I speak to blind eyes to be open, dead fears to be unstopped. In the name of Jesus, I speak. It was the seeds has to go by the authority of the blood of the Lamb. Father, I plead the blood on each and every one. For Father, you said in your word that you were wounded for our transgressions, first for our iniquities, uh, the chastisement of our peace is upon you, uh, and by your stripes we were healed. Uh, now, Father, I thank you for that healing touch, uh, and I thank you for what you're doing. Uh, Father, continue to bless and minister. Uh, Father, we'll give you the praise for the reports we're going to heal. In the name of Jesus, we pray and ask. Amen. And amen. May God richly blessed you. Here's our prayer, and as I said, if we can pray with you, feel free to send us a message. I, I see people typing down there, but you must understand, I can't read it, I have to wait till I get off of you. But we will pray with you. God, may God richly bless you with our prayer.